Hey guys, it's Haps, and in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different, and I'm gonna kind of take you through my thought process as I play through the Turtle Pack. Just to give you an idea of how I approach the early game, the mid game, and the late game. So starting out on tier ones, um, I'm looking for, I like fish, I like ant, I like mosquito, but other than those, I'm looking for just stats. So you can get some stats from the duck and you can get some stats from the beaver. Otter is quite nice because it adds an additional buff. I don't really buy the horse. Um, I don't really buy Cricket either. I'll three, freeze these two because basically you want to try and find as many triples as possible early on because you want to level on turn three or turn five. And we'll go, as we've got three fish, we'll go for the fishy players, the fishy players. So basically I'm looking for triples using the pets that I quite like. The ordering, to be honest, I mix it up all the time. We've actually ordered here absolutely fine. Um, I tend to look, at, like if I have an ant, I'll either put it right at the front or second from last. Okay, so we've got, we'll bring we'll bring the, the beaver in and we'll bring these in and we'll stack these like this. And maybe we'll put the weakest unit at the back and we'll roll another fish. Okay, so we're gonna try that, that strategy. So because we found another fish already, what I'm gonna look to do is I'm gonna stack the two fish in two separate piles. This is kind of greeting the fish a little bit. Basically, I want to try and get both level ups to level two and then also get the level up. Okay, we lose this round. That's unfortunate. Oh, then I want to get the uh, level up when, they goes, when it goes to level three. So, ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so we stack here. Now, you can either leave this frozen in your shop or what we could do is we could combine these and then place it into the team. Again, just freeing up the shop. We are quite weak here but we are gonna keep the fish for a while. So what I might do is I might buy some meat. And the reason why I know I'm gonna keep the fish for a while is I'm basically one fish away from a level three fish. And we'll level one, we'll level two, and then we'll level them together. And so the fish will have a significant amount of life at that point, like both attack and health. So it's probably gonna be hanging around to at least the mid game. So I don't mind adding some uh, food to it. There's nothing here. We're not gonna go with the elephant. You can sometimes pick up the elephant, but if you've leveled early and you found a puffer fish or a camel, then perfect, but we haven't. So we're just gonna run this. Now, the ordering here, again, I, I, don't, like, I don't like to put the, sec like the, the two strongest at the front in the early. I like to put like a, a kind of like alternating it a little bit. Generally, I have the weakest at the back. It's always good to freeze a pill. Always good to freeze a pill because flamingo or tur if you level into a turtle, um, you can pin it straight away onto your team. So it's always it's always good to have a, a handy to have a pill sort of there. Okay, so this is again going to be a little rough one for us. They've got an ox. We haven't leveled, so you know we're not we're not expected to win that one. Okay, so we keep the pill. There's nothing here. We we okay. There's one level. We don't want to bring this in straight away. What we could do is we could sell the duck and bring this in here keeping this space open increasing our chance to find that other fish not here there it is perfect so what we might do here is i think i might add i'm gonna i could freeze the apple roll twice to see what we get and then buy this so i've, I've added the apple to this um this fish at the front just to, basically just to make it stronger i know it's going to be around for a while we've got the level ups locked in so we'll go straight into this turn with the same order. And then turn five, we've got so many level ups for turn five. Now, the reason why I wanted to save these level ups for turn five is we may be able to level into something strong. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different things that we can level into, uh, but like you could level into a deer, you could level into a parrot and then something else. We could level into a skunk, we could level into a worm, a penguin, for example. So. Looking at my team, this, I mean, look at this, it's a nice symmetrical team. Now looking at this, I want to level the beaver first. The reason why I'm leveling the beaver first is whatever pet that comes from leveling up, I might want to, um, I might want to bring it into my team. And as soon as I start leveling the fish, the team starts getting stats. So I want the pets that are gonna be around for a while getting those stats. So we'll level the beaver first, turtle. Now, turtle we could bring in and we could immediately pill it because we've got the pill already. Like we're already prepared for this. So we'll bring it in. And then what we'll do is we'll level the fish. Squirrel, I like quite quite like squirrel because it gives you the, the opportunity to get free food. So we'll bring the squirrel in. 
and then we'll level the other fish. Whale. Not really interested in whale. If I'd have picked up a deer from the first two, maybe I'd have done whale. And I don't really want to go summon. So what we'll do now is we'll switch these around. I think that we actually run a turtle squad. So we have the turtle at the front. So I'm going to keep the turtle. I'm going to unfreeze the pill. And I'm going to put meat on it next time. We're going to use the discount from the squirrel for the meat. And I've, I've moved these two because I don't want this to be here to get the melon armor. I, I need this to keep it's it's um, the meat bone so the melon armor can go on to actually the strongest attack unit and we'll put the squirrel at the back we got one more roll so we'll roll here just to see what we get swan is really nice um we could bring swan in next time yeah maybe we'll i'm gonna freeze swan it's quite late to be looking at swan i think but if we level this next turn then we may want to bring the swan in here because then it makes things even cheaper but we'll, we'll just have to kind of see how that goes. We could have frozen the salad because uh, cheap salad from the squirrel is quite nice. But we'll just run it like this and see where we get to. So this is like your typical early summon game team. Honestly, the most frustrating team to play against, especially when they've got sheep as well. Sheep and spider, um, pretty frustrating. We actually will come out with um, a win here. Oh, no, we won't. I completely forgot. Ah. Oh. Come on, <laughs> it, it spawned a sheep. Okay, so we didn't come out of a win there. We came out of a horrific loss and that puts us on four hearts. So what do we do here? As I said, we level this, but I can't level this just yet because if I level this, then I level into nothing in here because there's no room for the pet that I'm leveling into. So this is why we're buying our meat. We leave this space open, we level here, so the pet can go here and frustratingly it's another it's another whale now we could buy this because it's quite cheap and additional stats but i don't really want to buy these two um so i'm just going to roll and we find out another swan which is nice we could freeze the meat bone and add it to the swan next time i think that's what i'll probably do roll one more time uh garlic we don't really need garlic because we've got melon armor here we've got two meat bones so I'm going to hold the meat to put on this one next time. And we're just going to go in this. And hopefully we don't come against the summon team. Any other team, honestly, I think we beat. <laughs> I think we beat any other team except the summon team. For example, we, we beat this team. So the turtle puts the melon on the beaver. And then the, the beaver does the work. Okay. So it's not been the strongest start for us. But we do finally get our first trophy. <laughs> we do get our first trophy. Okay. So we're going to be keeping the turtle around. So we want to level the turtle up. We've got the meat bone for our swan. And then what we've got here is a canned food. Now, the canned foods have been kind of, they, they were nerfed. But for two, I think it's worth it. And we roll again. And then a pear is a really good food. We're not going to get this level three. So we're going to roll past that. We're not getting this level three. However, the hippo is really good. So I actually think I'm going to sell this. We're going to bring the hippo in. We're going to hold these two for next turn. We'll roll, roll one more time. Now, the hippo is probably not the strongest here to be getting the melon. But I don't want to put it on here. And I don't want to put it on here. Ideally, what I was actually looking for was a bison. Because we got the level three fish, a bison here would have been perfect because it would have been scaling itself. And we also would have had the level three in the team. But unfortunately, we didn't get it. However, this is actually going to work out for us. No, it's not. Oh, yes. I mean, yes, it is. But I was hoping the, uh, hoping the hippo may survive one more turn. Okay, so we threw this. Another hippo, another squirrel, and another turtle. That's actually jackpot. We will immediately buy these to buff our hippo. We'll buy the hippo one more time. And then we'll also buy the turtle. And we level into a cow. Okay, this is really good for us. Um, this meat bone now, it sort of feels like we shouldn't, I think we're going to do this again. So basically now it's level two, it will pass melon onto the two behind. Again, I'm, I'm conscious. I don't want to overwrite these two meat bones for now. So I'm going to hold these two. I'm going to roll one more time. We could pick up the penguin, but I'm going to hold the can and I'm going to end turn. And hopefully this is enough. Ho I'm hoping the melon armor hippo will actually be enough to get through whatever's left after this turtle. Cause this turtle's quite strong. Okay, interesting here. 
we've got melon of our own and then also our hippo is just now going to start to scale and it's a summon team like this that the hippo actually thrives on so whereas before we actually got trashed by the, the summon team our hippo is now scaling to the point where it can take out this dog which is quite nice hippo is such a re like such a strong early game unit if you can scale it and um, get melon on it early then it's really good okay another turtle okay so we're gonna buy the canned food now this is where i think either the swan or the fish goes We'll buy the turtle and I have to make a decision here. Do I get rid of the swan or do I get rid of the fish? To be honest, I think I get rid of the fish. The reason why I'm getting rid of the fish is because the swan is at least giving us some gold. If we find one more swan, we also get a level up. The fish, apart from having the additional stats, really isn't doing that much for us. So we're going to buy the cow. We're going to sell the cow. This immediately goes on to our hippo because we need it as strong as we can get. And we'll bring the squirrel in. We'll keep these separate for now. Oh, a skunk is good. Now I do really like skunk and also sushi is good and we want sushi to be super cheap from these. Now do I need to bring skunk in this turn? I don't think so. I'd rather try and get cheap sushi for next turn. But the hippo, that hippo is good because that gets us to a level two. We'll roll one more time. Another hippo, another can. Okay now the problem we've got here is that these may get overwritten by this um, because what these do is they add two more foods. So I think it will add an additional food here and additional food here. So we should be fine. These three should stay and we should get four foods in the next. So we roll one more time. Now we've got a problem because we want this as well. So we're going to get four foods and it's going to overwrite these. So I either give up one of these or I can give up the skunk. I can give up a hippo. Do we need a level three hippo? Okay, so this is maybe a little bit controversial, but I don't think I need the level three hippo. I only need one more to get it level two. So I'm going to release the hippo. I do want to get the skunk, to be honest. So we're going to run it like this and hopefully um, we win this turn. And then when we level up both the hippo and the swan, maybe we'll get something good on tier six. Okay, so this is a hurt build. You do see these quite often. Um, we get we're, we should win we should we should beat them um, but they can scale quite aggressively and can get quite scary so we're with three trophies in there you go see so we managed to keep our three pets the other hippo would have been here and it would have been overwritten by this so we buy the can first which is costing one because we've got two squirrels we'll bring in the hippo and we get a boar now boar would be really good here if we can scale the boar and the hippo and they get the melon armor that could be really good We'll buy the um, the swan and a cat. Our oh, cat's also really good. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, maybe we, uh, now what do we do? Because we kind of want squirrel and cat and swan. And, and I think maybe we just do that. Maybe, I don't think we go for the boar. I think we keep the hippo. The boar can stay here. Because we could sell the hippo and we could run the boar. But it's a 6-6 six, six right now. But this is before attack. I think we just keep it as it is. We're going to combine these. We're going to bring the cat in. And then oh, the skunk, unfortunately, is going to have to, to remain out of this. And we're going to hold these because these are each now costing one. But if we hold them next turn, they'll all cost zero. And now we've brought the cat in for the added stats from when we buy these. We could actually buy this one because it costs one. We'll buy that one. We get some extra stats. It's a shame to leave these behind. I could sell this. It's a shame to it's a shame to leave these behind, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. The reason so we could bring in skunk and it will be really good late game. To actually looking at this, we're going to turn 16. The skunk could be very good there. But we could if if we've got the extra two gold, we could be buying more food. Hmm. I'm gonna hold I'm just gonna hold the skunk for this turn. I might sell the swan next turn or I might sell the squirrel. I, I, I'm not quite sure. I, I'm uh, Normally, I wouldn't have turtle and I'd play one of these, but we've got the turtle, so the turtle's here for good. Go into this turn. Now, our carry is, is our hippo here. Thankfully, it survives and it's strong enough to take this out. And these are strong enough to take these out. We, oh, that was a close one. So we managed to get through that. We basically want to preserve our lives as much as possible. So thankfully we were able to get through that. Oh, we lost a skunk there. But this, okay. I think, 
I think it's confirmed that I'm going to get rid of, I think I'm going to get rid of the swan because we've also got a cow here now as well. So we're going to hold this. We're going to buy this because we want to stack this up. We get a chili, which we can put, I mean, it's kind of pointless, but we'll put it on the cat for now. And then we'll buy and sell this. We want this hippo to be as strong as possible. Um, I think we'll bring the skunk in now. Nothing here. I mean, leopard is really good. We could buy a leopard. We could use the scaling. A thumb. I mean, yeah, we could buy a leopard. A leopard would be good. A leopard would be good. Leopard is probably the strongest end game unit. Now, if we're buying leopard, we're having to give up the squirrel. We're doing it. And we're just going to go... F oh, that's a, that's a little bit frustrating. Um, we're going to go full cat scaling. And we're going to have to sell either... <laughs> I think we're going to have to sell the skunk um, for the cat scaling. Uh, let's see what we're going to do here. I think we just buy this. Just get the extra stats. And then next turn, we sell the skunk. We buy the cows. We scale up these two. Basically, we're going to use these two as our carries now. These two should be the other way around. I probably should have put these the other way around. Okay, so we're, we've we got a bit of sniping going on here. Could take... Okay, we survived. Oh, no, we didn't survive. <laughs> That's good that we survived that hit. It means that the turtle can take out the front line and then the hippo cleans up. Okay, nice. That's a good run. Okay, we've got four more trophies needed. We've got to use this first. We're going to use it on the leopard. We're going to sell the skunk and we're going to buy these. We scale up the leopard here. I don't want to sell that just yet. Just in case I don't find anything. Roll. That's actually really big. I actually think it's better to do this and take that level up now. Oh, that's and that is really good. Okay, these two, these two are both equally. Um, I think you you could form an argument to both put both of these in this space. The reason why I say that is one, this will um, du like double the ability of the leopard, and this one will um, get numerous attacks off because these are both covered by melon. But for now, we're just going to run like this. I think we're going to hold the tiger. The tiger will fill this space, but I don't want to fill the space too quickly because we may find some more cows, which are going to be perfect with the cat. Post taps here. I just want to say thank you so much to all those who have liked, subscribed, and a huge thank you to all the members as well. I know I have a little section at the end of every video, but very rarely do I ever mention in the video. So just a huge shout out to all the members of the YouTube channel. It's massively appreciated. Anyway, I'll let you get back to the video. I just wanted to throw something in here. Hope you're enjoying this new style. We don't need the melon because we're covered. So I might just hold this for one another okay this could be quite good here we're gonna put the stake on you i think we're gonna bring this in and we're gonna put this on the tiger so not a big turn in terms of scaling there but we've we essentially got more utility so we're gonna take we're gonna do three snipes from this hopefully we take the scorpion with one of those we don't we did take the fly so that's quite good the scorpion gets taken out um, by our turtle and then our hippo cleans up Okay, so that's a few good turns there. And I think we've got, what, only a couple now? Yeah, two more trophies needed. There's nothing here that we that we want. There's nothing that scales off with the, with the cat either. <gasps> wow, okay. We can buy double cat here and then we hold this and we'll just buy this. Because with double cat, it gives you three. It's just apples are worth it at this point. It's quite late game, but whatever we get next turn, we might get a chance to buy some some good stuff. Oh, unfortunately, this doesn't take out the camel. Oh, yes, it does, because we obviously got the snipes. Okay, perfect. This takes us out. Oh, that was painful. Okay, that was a tough one. They they were they were pretty strong. Okay, we don't need the melon. And at the moment, the turtle is only going to help the tiger, and the tiger's not really worth it. So, but then what else are we looking for, really? An extra tiger. I don't think we're leveling the turtle. Or the hippo. We're definitely buying this. We're not going to take on that cat. Although having an extra stake could be quite useful. We'll roll a couple more times. We'll definitely buy... We'll hold the pizza. We'll buy the steak. Now we're buying the steak just for the extra damage. Um, oh, see, like the cat shouldn't really be here. 
it can't, you could put the cat here, like you could form an argument that the cat goes here, breaks the melon, and then this, then this attacks. I think we're gonna run it like this. We're gonna put the cat at the front. Hopefully it breaks melon armor. Actually, that's worked out an absolute dream for us. Because we've got we've got the cat here. Okay, it loses it loses to the scorpion, but it does mean our best units are the back are protected, and then our hippo is able to clean up. Okay, so we got nine trophies. We buy the pizza, one hundred percent, and then we roll. I but basically I want to find either a tiger or some chocolate, and I think this is it. Like, there's nothing more we can do. We'll save. We'll save, uh, we don't even save the cow here. We save the chocolate just in case. We roll twice, nothing here. We're gonna send it in the same order and let's see how we get on. And there we have it. That's kind of just like my thought process when playing the turtle pack. I mean, the, the final team actually consists of pretty much most of the strongest pets in the pack. The cat is arguably the best scaler, especially in the late game. The turtle is such a good unit to have. We didn't pill it early because we got additional stats on it from the leveling of the fish. And so it just stayed in the team. The hippo is such a good um, early game pet because you find so many summon teams and the hippo is able to scale off those summon teams and it also protected us from those summon teams. The leopard is arguably the best pet in the pack and we were able to scale that late game and the tiger is essentially a second leopard. There we have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this run and kind of my thought process behind the turtle pack. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.